Hi everyone. It's time for a new update to the AMZ Analyzer and I'm really excited about this one and I'm going to take you through some of the new features of this update and quickly run through them for you. First and foremost, when you update your program, you'll notice that we have color. We have green and red and orange and uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Green is good, red is bad, uh, orange is in between. Um, and what really, what I'm really showing off with these colors is a uh, a really nice new feature called conditional formatting. This is a advanced uh, feature. You can do a lot of things with this. And uh, for those of you Excel nerds out there that uh, are familiar with uh, conditional formatting and rules uh, with Excel, this is the same thing, and it's bringing that. Uh, functionality into the program. So let me just show you an example of how one of these rules can work. Um, we're going to look at this rule that is uh, uh, set up to show um, and what it says is, is if profit is greater than or equal to four dollars then format the cell green. And that's why in this profit uh, column here you'll see that everything over $4 is green and everything that's between $0 and $3.99 I've set up to be orange. But all of this is configurable and you can do so many things with conditional formatting that you could, that, that you, you probably don't even imagine. I don't even know all the stuff that you can do with this yet. Uh, so please play around with it. Um, I'll be really interested to see what we come up with, uh, but I do know it's a very powerful tool and, uh, and I'm excited to have it as part of the program. Now, a very simple addition that we made as part of this upgrade um, that, uh, that I think you guys will like is as part of the standard grid views, we've added a third standard grid view. And this one is called Potential Winners View. And this one is really powerful because uh, now with one click of a button, just like that, we can now apply some predetermined filters that I've selected and you could modify however you see fit. But with one click of a button, we could take a list of any size and quickly get it down to the winners. Just that fast. And you can see all of the filters that I've selected to be part of this view uh, right here. I'm, I'm looking at sales ranks products with sales ranks that are not zero, uh, sales ranks that are less than or equal to 100,000, profit is more than $4, and ROI is greater than or equal to 30%. You could modify this very easily and save your own view, but it's really just demonstrating the power of having uh, filters that are saved as part of a grid view to save you time you can go from having a full list like this one right here, totally unfiltered, to getting down to your winning products now in one click. And that's a lot of power. Hope you guys like that. Now the next feature that we've added is something that you guys have really been asking for and I'm excited to demonstrate. Let's look at the um, the product group uh, ca uh, category here, product group column. As you can see now, we have little carrots and we have full product group uh, category paths here. Now, why is this important? Well, if you're familiar with primary versus child sales ranks, this is extremely important because a sales rank of, for of 5,234, for example, as is the case here. A sales rank of 5,234 in most parent categories would mean that this product is selling lots and lots of volume. But in this case, we can see that this is actually a sales rank from a, uh, from a subcategory. It's a sub of a sub of a sub. So it's 
the electronics, accessories and supplies, audio, video, accessory, headphone, et cetera, et cetera, all the way down to ear pads. So this sales rank is 5234 of the ear pads subcategory of all of these other subs. And you can look at that now and say, aha, this is actually not this this we may want to look at this, but this is not really a 5234 sales rank. In, in or at least not like it would be if it was in the kitchen parent category. So you can now identify parent versus child categories by looking at the product group. And we could see now that all of these are parents. And the ones that have the carrots, you know, those are going to be the child category ranks. So we can now look at the sales rank and see what kind of sales rank it really is. Now, if you'd like to filter out all products that only contain a child sales rank, let's just say you don't want to even look at those. You just want to get rid of those. You could now do that by filtering the product group column and you select text filters here and does not contain and simply put the carrot in. And when I put this in, watch over here and you'll, you should see these disappear. So I'm going to scroll back up now and you can see that we don't have any more child ranked products because we are filtering them out completely. It's just that easy. If you change your mind, just like with any filter, you could just simply get rid of it and you can see that the, that the, um, that it all comes back. The next really cool feature that has been requested and we're happy to deliver on is the ability to update cost to estimate fees, which is this column right here on the fly and update to update the profit ROI and FBA fees. Now, what is cost to estimate fees? Well, this is the number the program uses in order to estimate FBA fees and ultimately profit and ROI. This is the number the program assumes you will be selling the product at. And how does it assume that? Well, it's going to look at what the buy box is or what, what the lowest price is uh, currently, and it's going to assume that you will match the lowest price. But let's just assume, let's just assume here that, you know, you, you may want to look at it as a different sales price. So in other words, in, in, on this product, it is currently being sold for $34.94. And for whatever reason, let's just say that you want to sell this product for $29.99. You can see that the profit and ROI were adjusted on the fly. And the program now calls the API and pulls these numbers down from Amazon. So these are always 100% accurate. But we could now see what this would look like at a different sales price. I'm going to do this again, and if you just watch these numbers, you'll see them change almost immediately. Let's say that we would like to sell this product for $49.99. We can see that our profit and ROI look very good if we're able to sell this at $49.99. Uh, this will give you guys more versatility to work within the program instead of exporting this and, and uh, getting messy in Excel. The other new feature we have, and man, we are just packed with new features in this uh, update. Uh, and this one is a relatively simple one. And I'm going to the potential winners view to demonstrate its usefulness. But it's been requested that we add an ability to uh, quickly filter out products that we just don't want in the list at all. So let's just say, for example, we get down to our short list here and we look at this one and say, you know what, this one is sold by Amazon. I don't really want it as part of the list. You can now right click and hide columns. You can hide whatever columns you want. You may decide to hide multiple columns 
And you know what? If you change your mind, that's okay. You could unhide all and they come back. And this gives you a little bit more versatility within the program to narrow down your list to your ultimate order list for the supplier. The last update that I will mention um, is uh, a multi-pack ROI fix. So some of you guys had noticed that when there's a multi-pack item, the ROI was actually not calculating properly. I'm happy to report that that has now been fixed and uh, there are no issues. So that bug has been worked out. Thank you for you guys that had uh, reported that bug to us and we uh, worked as fast as we could to fix that for you guys. Hope you guys like the update. Um, we are already busy working on the next one and the next one will actually be um, maybe the biggest one yet. I'm actually really, really excited about it. It's going to add a whole new dimension to the program. I don't want to give anything away, so uh, I'm not going to say anything, but please stay tuned on our Facebook page if you'd like to get um, the latest updates on uh, program developments and new features, or just come by, uh, subscribe, and share our Facebook page and just tell us what you think about the program and give us some feedback, whether you love it or hate it. Let us know. We want to hear that feedback. All of these updates in this um, software update, all of these things, every one of them were suggested by our customers. So we really do listen and we want to hear from you.